So today I'm going to talk to you about our paper money. And most of the paper money that we see here are ones, fives, and tens, and sometimes we see twenties. Um, once in a while we see a 50 or a 100, but I can't say that I see them much. And we do have $2 bills, but they're kind of hard to find too. They're kind of rare. So we're going to talk about the ones that we see most. $1, and you'll see that the $1 has a 1 on it. It makes it really easy. It says $1 on it. It says the United States of America. Um, so it tells us, as, as all the other ones do, that it is a dollar. It has a pyramid with an I on the back, and then we have our eagle emblem um, that tells us it's a dollar. And so a dollar is pretty easy. We write a dollar, and it looks like this. We use our dollar sign, the S with two lines in it, and then we write one decimal point zero zero for a dollar. When we look at our $5 bill, we see a 5 here instead of a 1. We see President Lincoln with his short beard and his short hair. And we write $5. We can see that that's what's on the front. On the back, we have um, another building. And then when we flip over on the front, we have a dollar sign and a money sign. And we write 5 and decimal point zero zero. And we know that it's $5 bill. Anything that's over on this side of the decimal point is paper. Okay, paper money or, or a dollar something, more than a dollar or more. When we look at the $10 bill, we have um, another president with short hair, similar to the, um, the other coins that we've seen, with a 10 on it. And on the back, we see, again, another building. Um, and the $10 bill is worth 10, so I would write my dollar sign, and then I would write 10 with my decimal point here. And this would mean that this is the $10 bill that I'm talking about. And so $10 are worth 10. And when I look at my money, I also have, I'm going to pull out some of my other coin, other my other dollar bills, and I'll erase this for right now. I also have told you that sometimes you see a 50. So I'll pull my 50 out. It's been stuck to my other dollar bills. There's a $50 bill, and it says 50 on it. And we have another gentleman that's a little bit older with um, his beard and his short hair. We have the $100 bill here with a hundred and we have this um, gentleman Benjamin Franklin I believe and he has long hair and then we have and a, a building this time with lots of trees around it and then we also have a twenty dollar bill uh, and right now I have to say I can't find one of my twenty dollar bills but it would have the twenty on it again and so paper money is pretty easy to know what they are when we write a hundred dollars we use our dollar sign we write one hundred and then decimal point zero zero. When we write the 50, we write our, do our dollar sign and we write a five with a decimal point zero zero. And if we were talking about the 20, we would write a dollar sign, 20, zero, zero. So anytime we're talking about dollars instead of cents, it's decimal point. On this side of the decimal point, we write our um, number. This side of the decimal point, we write our number. If we're talking about change or cents, then we're talking about this side of the decimal point. But we aren't talking about that when we're talking about dollar bills unless we add money to that.